Exactly three months ago, I paired Natasha with my boy Tyrone. And yes, the rumors are true, he was hung like a horse. Anyways, it's been a while since the two have done this. <laughs> Yet, there is still no egg set. This means I'm going to need to bring out the big guns. Oh, yes, Daddy. In theory, this tasty BBC will put Natasha's boom boom bottom into maximum capacity. And once that happens, she'll be forced to drop the babies. With that being said, I thank Brittany for volunteering as tribute. And then I dropped her in with Natasha. Using her primary sense, Natasha got a feel for the Glizzy's dimensions. And then she stabbed her massive venom lace fangs into Brittany's underside. As you could imagine, the roach tried its best to escape the tarantula's lethal grip. But it was already too late. Natasha's yet to be born children needed to eat, and the juicy BBC was going to make the perfect meal. Now, tarantulas have an extremely slow metabolism. If they're not eating, they're most likely staying still in the same exact spot for hours at a time. So it's no surprise that Natasha was taking her sweet, sweet time to chew and crush the roach's exoskeleton. Wait, what the freak? In an unexpected turn of events, Brittany began to give birth. Well, actually, a better term for what Brittany is doing would be abortion, as she is aborting all of the babies that were cooking inside of her in hopes of giving them a second chance at survival. By pooping her babies prematurely, they avoid being chewed up by Natasha's massive fangs. After some serious time had passed, the BBC no longer resembled a cockroach. Natasha's fangs have worked overtime as she mutilated, crushed, and squeezed every single last drop of nutrients out of the poor BBC. However, I do not understand how this orange ball of mush still has a heartbeat. I mean, what the freak? I know roaches have survived extinction after after extinction, but come on dude, this is literal insanity. Anyways, the large amounts of venom that Natasha pumped into her prey have literally melted the roach's insides. So she periodically wraps the mush with spider silk in order to keep everything together. Like I've said before, spiders are extremely lazy creatures and are used to doing absolutely nothing all day. Stupid. So of course, the one time that they're actually doing something, it takes them forever to finish the task. All things considered, it was getting late and Natasha was wasn't going any faster. So I left her alone overnight and now it is time to see what she has done to Bethany. Holy smokes! Just like the queen Lizzo herself, Natasha made sure not a single crumb was wasted. I went in for a closer look at Bethany's remains and while it was hard to believe that this was once a majestic BBC, I was reassured upon closer inspection as there were literal pieces of black exoskeleton mixed in with the bolus. Anyways, Natasha is heftier than ever and with a poop dispenser that big, it's only only a matter of time before she drops an egg sac. <laughs> This is Edgar, my Brazilian salmon pink bird eater tarantula. Amazingly, this happens to be the third largest tarantula in the world. But something is seriously wrong, as Edgar has just passed away. Oh my god. Contrary to popular belief, Edgar's death had nothing to do with Natasha's massive fangs, or Edgar's bald and wrinkly abdomen. Oh. In fact, poor Edgar's demise has to do with Mother Nature's sexism. You see, Edgar exists for one reason only, and that's to transfer sperm into a female spadussy. Treat me like what Don't get me dirty. As a result, nature doesn't need men around very long. So Edgar, as well as all male spiders, have evolved a lifespan that's only a fraction as long as their female counterparts. I'm dying. Consequently, Edgar's lifespan only lasted a grand total of two years before he passed away of natural causes. Whereas female Edgar could have easily lived well past 30 years. Uh, Obviously, Mother Nature is freaking sexist. But I must remember that I am completely powerless over this situation. Therefore, or the only logical thing to do with poor Edgar's lifeless corpse is to offer bro to Tyrone's girlfriend Natasha. This way, Edgar's life won't be completely pointless Stupid. as the nutrients in his carcass will be squeezed and consumed by those humongous fangs. Tasty. Then said nourishment will travel down Natasha's dump truck yeah. where it will be absorbed by her eggs. Anyways, let's just hope that Edgar gets reincarnated into a female this time around.